Um, my name is Kate Rat Doyle. I'm based in County Wexford and this year I'm bringing a Connemara pony called Maggie's Ranger uh, to the Dublin Horse Show in the four or five year old ridden Connemara pony class. I genuinely can't remember my first memory of horses and ponies. They've just always been there. Um, Mum would have took me to my first show when I was one and a half years old. Um, and I competed in the lead rein class on my Shetland pony, Tara. Um, and just going from there, I would have always had horses and ponies and um, competed in pony club and hunting and show jumping. The first of the Connemara qualifiers uh, for the RDS this year was in Tully Lish. And I went, um, and I was standing uh, watching the class, um, the four or five year old ridden Connemara class, and I spotted this pony and he really stood out to me. I just, I liked how he'd been produced. I liked his attitude, I liked his paces, and I just instantly couldn't take my eyes off him. I just thought he was really nice. Um, so I looked up his breeding. He was by um, a Connemara stallion called Drumbad Fletcher Moss, which is also the sire of my broodmare, uh, Bobby Kay. And his dam um, was by uh, the same sire as Monin's Town Rory, which is Kirkmore Cashel. So when I seen all this familiar breeding and I really liked him, I was like, I'm going to really regret it if I don't ask if this pony is for sale. Uh, so I approached his owner um, and rider on the day and that was Louise Kennedy. I didn't know Louise, but um, I asked her was he for sale and she said he was and she said I could sit up on him on the day and um, see what I thought. And I did and I hardly slept that night thinking about him. So. The next morning I got straight onto the phone and after a few phone calls I purchased um, Maggie's Ranger um, and I, I had planned to collect him, this was on Sunday that I bought him and I planned to collect him on Tuesday and in the meantime Louise um, messaged me and she said I have an entry in for him in the qualifier in Scartine next week. And she said, would you like me to try change the name of the rider or withdraw it? And I said, well, if you can change the name of the rider, please do. And um, that'd be great. So uh, I collected him on Tuesday. I rode him Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. And he seemed to settle in very quickly with us. And um, I was happy with how he was going. So on me and my mum, uh, May headed on to Scartine in the lashings of rain and um, Ted went into the ring and he went beautifully for me. I was so pleased with him in, in the conditions and he won the qualifier and he qualified for Dublin and um, that was how I met Ted and it was quite a whirlwind but I really think it shows the Connemara's temperament and just how versatile they are. My mum took me to my first Dublin horse show when I was nine months old um, she tells me she bought me my first pair of jodhpurs there and I went back every year since. Um, I love the atmosphere in Dublin, I love meeting up with friends, I love the shopping, um, I also love watching the classes and watching the professionals um, do their job. I feel like you pick up lots of tips and tricks and um, I've just always really enjoyed the whole experience. Um, I didn't compete in Dublin for the first time until 2010 uh, on a four-year-old ridden Connemara pony called Lahina Rebel. In 2012, I had my first um, win in Dublin. Um, it was very special. I went on a middleweight hunter. His name was Because You're Worth It. Um, a horse we had bought um, the previous September. Um, he had only hunted, so I reschooled him and took him up to Dublin and um, he went on to win the Sportsman's Middle Heavyweight Hunter class. Um, he was 17 too and um, he was just a big gentleman of a horse. 
So my granny and granddad both would have hunted in their younger days and I think that's where my mother's love of horses came from. My mom, uh, Mayrat, would be at the very root of my love for horses. Um, she always had horses and ponies growing up. She would have competed mainly in show jumping and eventing herself, but she also would have shown horses for people up at the RDS. My pony of a lifetime is Monanstown Rory. We bought him off a photograph on Facebook. We seen him for sale. Um, we didn't even get a video and me and mom just instantly really liked him um, for whatever reason uh, from these photos and he was delivered down um, to us from the north with a transporter. I didn't get to see him arrive but I remember coming out the next morning and going into the stable and I just I just thought he was a mirage like I thought he was like nothing I'd ever seen before and I tacked him up and I went out on him and he he really showed me what a ridden Connemara pony should look like how they should ride I feel like I've learned so much from him um, he he's a real showman he can be like very lazy at home um, he has no interest in going into the sand arena, but like he, he, once he gets into the ring and he knows everyone is looking at him, he just comes to life and he loves, he loves the show ring as much as I do. Um, he definitely was always my partner in crime and we went everywhere. I went, I competed him in England, he placed in highest qualifiers. I took him to Dublin and he won there his first time out with, first time there with me. Um, he also won Balmoral, um, it was my first ever time to compete at Balmoral show and he also won Clifton with me. Uh, he's now happily retired here with us. Um, he spends a lot of his time out in the field with our young stock, um, putting manners on them and um, keeping them in tune. Alongside my ponies, I also work part-time in Kilmuckridge Pharmacy. I work there of uh, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday of each week. And I get the ponies out then either early morning or uh, late evening after work. I'm currently lucky enough to have five Connemara ponies in work. Um, I love the Connemara pony to work with. Um, I love their temperaments, they're all very different, they're all very individual. Last year um, I decided that I wanted um, to give back to the Irish Pony Society. I had competed with them uh, over the years um, in all their classes and I qualified last year as a Irish Pony Society judge and I got on the panel. Um, judging the working hunter classes, the ridden uh, pony classes and also the in hands. It's a new passion for me, it's, it's hard to juggle everything with trying to compete as well but I really enjoy my days out judging um, as well. Top of my bucket list for the future is to take part in the Parade of Champions at the Dublin Horse Show in the main arena. And I would also love to compete some year in the side saddle. Dublin Horse Show is my favourite place to compete. I think not in comparison to it. I, I think it's the best show in the world and I cannot wait to compete there next week.